and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another Leonardo Officina Italiana pen for review. So I'd like to thank John at stjohnspens.com for loaning me this pen for review. If you haven't already, check out stjohnspens.com. You can also find John at all of the UK pen shows and many of the European pen shows in 2020. So I'd like to thank John for loaning me this pen. So I think let's go into the review here of this pen. So it comes in this Leonardo Officina Italiana box. Let's lift the box lid and you will see a made in Italy, Italian original quality worked by hand from solid bar, guaranteed for life against any manufacturing defect. And then here you see the pen. This is the Leonardo Officina Italiana Momento Zero in the coral. And this is a really nice pen. So I think let's put the lid back on and then you can see this pen in all its beauty. So this isn't a plain pen. It may come off initially as a plain pen, but you can see here as I rotate the pen that there are a number of almost like sort of oily sort of patterns going on there in that body and this reminds me a little bit of a Visconti the way that they have those like oily Van Goghs um, but you can see here in the cap so this really is a nice pen from Leonardo it's a Memento Zero it doesn't have a blind cap finial or cap finial there um, but it is actually a really nice shape and size and I do like these Memento Zeros. I've actually started to like the Memento Zero Grandes a little bit more lately because they are a little bit more on the larger size. But let's just take a look at this pen. So the pen sort of tapers out more to the midpoint of the cap and continues down to the cap band. Now you have two bands there on the cap and if I unscrew this you'll see that there's a third one here and this is actually on the body of the pen and then what you'll notice is that the body starts to taper back down again and then you get to this other band here which is part of the blind cap thread mechanism now you can actually access it's a cartridge converter you can access the converter from here if you wanted to or you can unscrew the body of the pen and I will show you that here and you can access the cartridge converter here and then you'll also see on the cartridge converter it's engraved Leonardo Officina Italiana now these cartridge converters are threaded they're not pushing so do be careful if you have one of these you want to be able to unscrew it and not just yank it out otherwise you might strip the threads but these pens are actually very nice to to write with it comes with a medium steel Leonardo nib these are a Bock nib but these write pretty well and then they come with an ABS plastic feed but the size of these pens are actually really nice in the size of my hand. Uh, if I zoom out slightly, I can post the cap as well. And it doesn't feel back weighted at all because, and you'll see in a little bit when I actually do the weight check, you'll see that this is actually a really light cap and a really light pen. So to me, I don't have any problems posting these caps whatsoever. I don't normally post caps, but I will do if I feel the need to. And for me, I can go either way with this pen. I can post it or not post it. If I don't post it, it's still a really nice size in my hand. Although I tend to, because of the section, because it tapers down quite a bit, I tend to actually hold it up here a little bit more towards the threads. The threads are actually very shallow. They are not sharp in any way. Uh, so you don't feel those threads if you hold it up here on the threads. But for me, these pens write very well. I have a number of Leonardo pens and a number of Memento Zeros, including the Grande as well, in my collection, and I do like them. 
So I think with that, I think let's do a size check, a weight check. We'll do a pen comparison and then we'll do a writing sample. So the length of the pen, we are looking at around about 152 millimeters in length. And then the length of the cap, we're looking at about 63 millimeters in length. And then we'll do a check on the length of the body to the tip of the tines. We're looking around about 127 millimeters in length. So it's a really good size. And it is something that I, pen wise, I do like a lot. And we'll do a weight check. Now, fully uninked, we are looking at just over 26 and a half grams. The cap itself is just over eight grams. So that's a very light cap, as I was saying. And then if I can stop that rolling, the weight of the body is just under 18 and a half grams. So as you can see, this is a very light pen. So if you don't like heavy pens, this probably is a pen for you. But this really is a lovely material. And you can see here the sort of slight variations there on that material. It's a coral material, hence the name coral for this particular model. But it really is quite a nice pen. So I think let's do a comparison with other pens. So from left to right, we have a Pelican M600 Turquoise White. We have a Penida Le Grande Belitza in the Rhodolite. We have a Pilot Vanishing Point with black and gold trim. We have a Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero in the Hawaii. We have the Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero in the Coral. We have a Leonardo Officina Italiana, and this is a Memento Zero Grande in the Carabe. We have a Leonardo Officina Italiana in the Memento Zero Grande in the sand. A Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero Grande in the copper. We have a Visconti Calido Voyager Yellow Dawn. And we have a Scribo Phil in the Verde Prato. So let's do a writing sample. So this is the... Leonardo Memento Zero and this is the coral in a medium steel nib. The ink in here is Mont Blanc Corn poppy red which is one of my favorite red inks now in terms of line variation this is a medium nib it is a steel nib so you can apply a little bit of pressure maybe get twice the line variation out of it but it's very very hard because it is a steel nib so don't expect any flex normally out of a steel nib but you can see there, it is actually quite a, a, a medium line for a medium nib. In terms of wetness, let's have a look. Do a vertical pass. So this is actually a slightly wet nib. It's not a fire hose nib, it's not a very wet nib but it's a nib that is wet enough that you can write within a notebook without having to worry about turning the pages too much. For me, that is a win-win situation because I do like writing in notebooks. I'd like to thank John at stjohnspens.com for loaning me this pen for review. Thanks go out to John. If you want to check out his website, you can do it at stjohnspens.com or if you want to visit him at any of the UK pen shows in 2020 or many of the European pen shows in 2020, please do check him out. So that's my review of the Leonardo Memento Zero Coral in a medium steel nib. 
Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.